told you it's already uh, like a heated house already on the show this afternoon. Uh, our guests are here and they're raring to go. We're actually discussing an issue, <laughs> you know, that I know it's uh, touching uh, on the nerves of a lot of Nigerians, but maybe another time we'll get into that because we have discussed the issue of uh, waste collection on the show before and people still have one or two things to say about it. But anyways, that's not what we're here for today. Good afternoon and welcome. Thanks for joining us. It's still the show, The Buzz, where we keep you updated on issues as a trend on social media. My name is Patience Belo Kafu. I welcome you this lovely Monday afternoon, the 19th of February, 2018. 18. My sparring partner, Lero, is here as well. Good afternoon, Lero. Good afternoon, patients. Mm. And um, a beautiful Monday afternoon to you all there. And yes. today's edition of The Boris promises to be an insightful one and also educative. Um, like Fashion said, there's this issue that we just, mm -hmm, we just talked. I we just did waka pass. That's <laughs> true. All right, join us on all of our facial, uh, social, <laughs> did I say facial? Official. Social media portals, all right? Facebook. Uh, yes, using the hashtag the boards, and mm -hmm. that's on um, www.facebook.com forward slash Galaxy TV, and also on Twitter at official Galaxy TV. And knowing that you could get to watch previous editions of the boards via our YouTube channel that is Galaxy TV Nigeria. Mm. And much later in the show, the line will be open for you to interact via SMS only. The number is 0708 and it's on the screen. All right, we have a full panel with us this afternoon and sitting close to me. I think this is the first time you'll be sitting on this end of the table. Yeah. Either you're in the middle yeah. or on that side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, he's a regular on the show on Mondays. And uh, of course, he's someone we respect uh, so much and his views are always uh, articulate. Uh, he's a journalist and a publisher, amongst other things, Mr. Biodun Kukului. Thank you, sir, for joining us on the show. Thank Good afternoon, sir. Me. All right. And of course, uh, we have a lady with us. Uh, she's a marketing and communications expert and very, very vocal on social media. It's a pleasure to have first time on the show, Esosa Osagede. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Esosa. Thank you Thank for you. coming. All right. And also another regular on Mondays uh, is a PR expert and a social critic. And of course, you know where we have Mr. Ikem. Uh, you are in for a good time. Mr. Ikem Okuho, good afternoon. I bow and <laughs> You were lost for a minute. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the show. All right, so uh, gentlemen and ladies, let's get straight into our discourse for this afternoon. Our first topic is uh, on uh, a recent move uh, by the British government. We have it that Britain is to add Nigeria's Naira to the list of accepted trade currencies. Uh, the British government on February 9th, through its export credit uh, UK Export Finance said it would accept Naira payments from Nigerian business owners trading with the UK. The Naira financing will follow the same structure as uh, someone buying in sterling, except that Nigerian firms taking out a loan in the local currency can benefit from a UK government-backed guarantee. Now, the Naira will become one of the three West African currencies that the UK Export Finance has pre-approved for its program of funding transactions that promote trade with Britain. I'd like to start with Esosa because you're into marketing and, and all that. You know, what really do you see as the benefit, you know, for the country uh, on this new arrangement, if it's going to pull through, you know, between the UK and Nigeria? <clears throat> the first thing I said when I when I saw this was I hope we would not just get overly excited which is what we always do in this country and okay. as I mean in Africa when I, I say crumbs are tossed at, at us hmm. you know now is the time for us to look in and zone in okay. what are we really getting out of this if you have renewed your visa in the last two years you'll realize that the British visa, the British visa is still one of the most expensive mm -hmm. now is the time for Nigerians to call the shots and say, okay, this is why. Because the truth about it is, if you've been following foreign um, news, you mm -hmm. realize that if not because of this whole Brexit brouhaha, mm -hmm. Nigeria would not even have come exactly. to be in here. So exactly. yes, now is mm -hmm. the time to come table table come on the table and more like know, take, yes, advantage take advantage of, of this. Of what are we getting out of this? Mm. We have if you check statistics, <clears throat> you realize that Nigerians schooling in the UK mm -hmm. are one of the highest 
what are we getting out of this? Mm. Especially, I remember the time when um, the whole Forex thing happened with the whole BVN, people yeah. really found it difficult to pay school fees for True. their children. Yes. So now is the time for our government to sit down on the table, and I hope we have smart people who are going to be leading and charging this conversation. We need to get things out of there. I was in the UK over Christmas, and I can tell you for free that it is things are too expensive. You know, even, I mean, at the um, point of exit, when you would try to even go and maybe get some money back from VAT or something, mm -hmm. it was very impossible. It was impossible. Not, it was, I won't even, it was impossible to be and frustrating. Mm. So now is the time to do that. Are we going to be getting um, cuts on visa fees? Are we going to be getting cuts on not just trade, mm. across board? Mm. You know, this should benefit us mm. across board. Mm. All right, um, Mr. Kupalui, um, because now some of the stakeholders are actually saying this is going to be like a good, um, well, I get to say a marriage, good marriage mm -hmm. between Nigeria and the yeah. UK, mm -hmm. going to have the Naira on their trade um, currency. Do you, do you actually see this as a good front, good front from them? Well, I'm, I'm more excited about the fact that, uh, you know, this came from the United Kingdom. You know, uh, for so many reasons. You know, um, if you could recall, you know, Nigeria and UK used to be good, great partners. We have good trade balance, in, you know, uh, between us. And until Naira started f behaving funny because of our leadership, because of the government, you know. But this time, I think, um, like she rightly said, you know, we cannot ignore the fact that you know uh, the Brexit issue actually made UK to start thinking of future trade partners, mm, you know, people okay. that they can mm. do trade with, you know. I don't want to ignore the fact that uh, it has benefits, but those points she mentioned, like the visa issue, we mm. need to actually negotiate. You know, there must be some respite for us, you know, in spite of it all. Mm -hmm. It looks good, yes, you know, traders will definitely, you know, get to buy things without going to the black market mm -hmm. and you know, exchanging Naira at a cultural, uh, cultural uh, prices, you know, or rates, you know, but then we have, we have to also look at at what rate are we going to get Naira exchange, mm -hmm. you know, for the UK, you know, uh, pound sterling? You know, we need to look at this, you know, of course, and then who actually carries, you know, we, we have to be very careful, you know, you know, Nigeria is a blessed country, yet we have some funny people, mm -hmm. you know, when they see opportunities that they want to, you know, capitalize, uh, capitalize on it. Yeah. I remember when I was quite young, we used to do mail order in Nigeria, mm -hmm. you know, you just cut a space in the magazine, and then post it uh, mm -hmm. because uh, mm -hmm. they say stuff to you. That's know, true. That. I, I enjoyed a bit of that when I was in secondary school, you know, but you know, all that is gone now. You know, so we need to look at it very well so people don't exploit this advantage. Mm -hmm. It's a great advantage and of course it means well for Nigerian business, but we need to look at liabilities. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, who's going to carry liabilities the and of course with the CBN, you know, Nigeria's uh, you know, bankers bank, you know, will they be will they be available? To make this happen, you know, with their own bankers bank over there, so that there won't be liabilities, and of course, there won't be distrust, and of course, the image of Nigeria will not be, you know, okay. further right. uh, go go down south. You know. All right, let's bring Mr. Okuho into the conversation. Do you think this move would uh, perhaps deepen trade? Would, would it open more uh, doors of opportunity? You know, in terms of product scope and and all of that between the two countries. I am not very sure. Hmm. What I see is that for those who are doing in the business already, it's, a, it's cost down on the timeline. Why? Because most people don't access Forex at the official price. Mm -hmm. You have to go black market, black do this and that. Yes. But if you're going to now make your transactions in Naira, it costs down the time and maybe a few of the extras you spend in sourcing foreign exchange. Mm. For me, like she said, it is something we need to drill into and find out where it benefits, benefits mm -hmm. us. Because UK is, they are caught in the Brexit web and they are cutting deals with practically everybody. Be able to mention something like, we have had favorable trade balance with UK. That's not true. Not true we have been trading partners since independence, but the balance of trade has never been favorable. To it Nigeria. It's been to skewed mm. against us. We bring back their finished products. What we are selling to UK now is no value added material. I'm talking about before now. Raw, not, not now. Even then, we sell crude, we sell basic primary products, not secondary products with value added. 
we produce cocoa here and send them and go and buy back chocolate. You understand? So mm. the balance of and we pay more for the chocolates than the cocoa that we sell. Okay. So the balance of trade is not fair at all. Mm. So what we need to do is to drill into it. What more can we negotiate outside this if our people want to negotiate or even they understand that this is actually something thrown at us by UK mm -hmm. to excite us and to give them a soft landing following the backlash mm -hmm. expected from the Brexit. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and um, let's get to have something at the back of our mind that um, Nigerians get to trade more in China. And there was a certain time that something like this and uh, came up until date. <laughs> it we have not the, the, end, the end of it. So, <laughs> at all. so the, a lot of people... Why? Because it doesn't bring down the exchange rate. Mm -mm. If we are buying the pound sterling at 460... 85. 485 now. 85. You are still going to pay the equivalent of 485 naira per mm -hmm. naira. Your draw, I mean, uh, equivalent of uh, 480, uh, equivalent for one pound mm. in 485 naira. If you're doing anything. So, if we are, if it's giving us an advantage in terms of fixing the exchange rate somewhere, mm -hmm. we can be excited. But to the extent that you are still going to spend the same value, the only thing we are gaining is cut down your transaction with the dollar malam in terms of sourcing those things and then put otherwise that, that's it's still it skewed is. to favor UK because our eyes is now there for that convenience we are saying they've given us so much and therefore we are channeling our uh, trade attention to them mm -hmm. I'm not seeing so much in terms of what a nation should be excited about mm -hmm. what we should do is where do we negotiate more can we take advantage of the challenge the peculiar situation they are in this Brexit situation mm -hmm. to push for a lot more concessions and uh, not even concession because concession is just take this mm -hmm. but for more benefits mm. all uh, right my, my, okay. my, my, my stand is this I, I didn't say we have balance of trade. I say to help our balance of trade okay, okay. because mm -hmm. because that means we can trade more we can trade more with them you know look at all the opportunities that of course put our money you know where our mouth is you know mm. that's what i'm mm. trying to say mm. you know for me i believe it will help businesses you know if you are a trader you know are you even know what i mean because if you happen to exchange at the rate of the street there then you can do business very well in the united kingdom then of course you know like i said we need to look at at what trade are they going to exchange this naira for us for the for the UK, you know, pound sterling. Mm. Yeah. All right, you know, uh, uh, let's assume this does uh, pull through, and you know, we get all our negotiations right and 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 all that. How do we explain this, you know, to that layman that just does business, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, ordinarily in Naira and Kobo, who doesn't really understand what trade agreements and all of that is really about, especially. Where you're talking about international, uh, you know, partnerships such as the one we're looking at, like how do you explain it to that ordinary Nigerian out there? Um, like uh, I was going to throw in when they were having their conversation that um, Nigeria isn't the only country that the UK is talking to. They are talking to India as okay, well. Yeah. And I know that those Asians do not click. Mm. They are going to come on that table and they are going to talk up. They are going to make sure they get they get good negotiation from immigration to business everything will be brought on the table and okay. you'll see where they can get you know their cuts from mm. and get you know their advantages from um sadly like you said like it happens in nigeria when, when things go up it just keeps going up so the person on the street selling um that just dealing in naira and cobble it's i really th i don't i really don't think it's his business it's not for them, mm. it's it's not for them. we're not mm. talking to them it's really not their business um, I, and I, like I, I would continue to say, except the government or whoever it is that's going to be on that negotiating table comes and says, okay, even down to that person who is, who is buying from somebody who is buying from somebody who is buying from someone in the UK, you know, it must benefit everybody. If, if in the, I mean, in Nigeria, it really doesn't concern that person. So how do you explain it to the person? I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because... But talking about trickling down, you yeah, know, and all of that, down. yeah, it has to trickle down, it, it, you know. It, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's it's why, down. And that's yeah. what that's the national orientation is. people on the table. It, mm. it, it, will, just it will definitely trickle down mm -hmm. because um, the product you used to buy for the United Kingdom mm -hmm. at a particular price, mm -hmm. you know, if it gets lower, then that means it should be lower mm -hmm. at, the, at, the, at the retail end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I believe it's a win-win it's a for Nigeria. 
We have to but, wait but and we, see. We need, no, I, I, I'm because not, in Nigeria, I'm not, I'm not what goes worry. up keeps going up. <laughs> yeah. What regardless. goes up regardless. Mm. When dollars started to drop, things in the market did not drop. Mm. You know, like I raised so, the question, how does it affect our exchange rate? Does it have any effect on it? Because if I am still going to, I'm paying in Naira, mm -hmm. but the value I'm paying okay, is equivalent of 485, like exactly. you said. Mm. It, it hasn't... No, it hasn't done anything. The, the rate has mm. not been disclosed. That's mm -hmm. why I said until we know the rate. Okay. So when the rate is disclosed, then we can say, okay, it's a win. So that problem. is where yeah. our people now need to put your negotiate cards on and yeah. negotiate yeah. good deal for us. Yeah. All right. So this is this is still an unfolding thing. Uh, we hope, like uh, everybody has said, that um, the, the people in charge of this will actually put their thinking cap on. Correctly, you know, you know, and, and do the right things. If you go yeah. to the UK, you mm. know, oftentimes when I travel and you slot in your ATM card with Naira, it should get dollar, I should get pounds out, mm. but at what rate? Mm. You know, and you be, you, no, it's fact, like, it's like you, 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 you have fears to go and eat in a restaurant <laughs> when you see the rate. Exactly. But now there will be a difference. We hope so. Yeah. We hope so. so. And then, of course, I think this should have happened long, long before, now. before now. Uh, because you have a, a large concentration of Nigerians in the UK. Yes. You know, UK and we do. We have historical time. and cultural ties but, as well. But, so this, this no, is. I want to go have. back to mm. way back. You know, some shops in that kingdom used to take naira in those days. Those I'm days. Aware, yeah, I'm aware of that. Those days. When you get back home, ask someone else, mm. they will tell you mm. that Naira was so strong that you can use it as a currency of exchange in the Kingdom. Okay. Yeah. We hope we can get back to that time again. But moving on, it's let's go to our next, <laughs> our next topic of 